Welcome to Still Works in Bruin. My name is Randy, and this is the channel that's all about home distillation in Bruin. So, what do we got going on today? Well, today, well, the other day I was at the grocery store, and they had these big bins, and they were full of sweet potatoes. And I got to thinking, I got to do something with them sweet potatoes. What can I do? Okay, one of my most favorite drinks is bourbon. So I love sweet potatoes. Put them together, you got sweet potato bourbon. Okay, so that's what we're gonna try to make today. Um, but first things first, there's something that you can do to really help this channel out. And you can do one, two, or all five. Number one, if you get time and you haven't done it yet, a lot of you have, but if you haven't done it yet, please hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. Uh, hit that notification bell so every time we come out with something new, you'll get notified. Number three, share it with your friends. Let them in on this. Uh, number four, if you like what you see, please give us that thumbs up. And of course, number five, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so let's get ready to get started now. Okay, so what's our ingredients list? Well, first thing I got, 10 pounds of ground corn, okay? And then I got five pounds of a six of barley. And just for a little bit of sweetness, I got two pounds of white wheat. And to start of the show, I got six pounds, whoop, one I got eight pounds of sweet potatoes. All right. And one other thing I'm just going to add into it is, uh, well, it's 12 and a half ounce, almost one pound of maple syrup. Okay. So that's our ingredients. Let's get going. So for the first step, what we got to do is I have in my brew pot, uh, about 200 degree water. It's just almost a boil. So what I'll do next is I got one of these, because corn is gonna turn very thick. So what we need to do is we need to get them starches out of our corn and gelatinize it. So uh, let me put my bag in my mash tun. All right. So then what I'm gonna do is let me put, we'll start off with a couple gallons of that boiling water. Okay, so that's probably a couple gallons. Let's get started. Let me grab my um, mash paddle. Got my mash paddle here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need a little bit more water. Okay, so let's start mixing in our corn. All right, we're getting that all mixed in. I'd bring the camera over here, but it fogs right up and you can't see nothing anyway. All right, so what? All I'm doing is mixing in this ground corn, trying to get all the dough balls out of it. All right, so there's five pounds. I do love to smell this corn now. I'm getting a little thick. I think I'll have to put a couple more cups of water in there. 
because it will get thick. Get it all mixed up. If I can see. Okay, so it's all wet, all mixed up. So what we need to do now, actually I'm gonna just one more cup of water. Okay, so our corn's all in it. So what we're gonna do is cover it up. Cover that up, and we're gonna give that an hour to get some of that starch out of that corn, to gelatinize that corn, okay? All right, so, now, we'll, while that's doing that, we gotta get our sweet potatoes. So while we're waiting on our corn, we'll get our sweet potatoes ready because we're gonna have to soften them up. So we're gonna cook them. I did wash all my sweet potatoes. Okay. Let's cut them little ends off, I don't know why. And what we want is just smaller pieces to help it cook faster. I'm just making pieces about, about that size. And I don't, don't peel them because there's a lot of goodness in the skin of them sweet potatoes. Okay. Seeing kind of bad spots, I just like to cut them out just because. Okay, so uh, let me get all these cut up. Okay, so what do we got going on? All right, like you uh, like before, we got the corn is in the mash tun. Uh, we put boiling water in there. And we're gonna let that uh, cook for about an hour. We cut up all our sweet potatoes, got them in the pot here. Uh, it's a full pot too. So what we wanna do is we wanna simmer these potatoes to get them soft, okay? Um, so that's where we're right now. So once we get these all soft, we're gonna end up mashing them out. We'll get to that. Okay, so. We just gotta let this stuff cook for a little while, then uh, we'll move on to the next step. I, I, and this bourbon, one thing I'm gonna do with this bourbon that, that I don't normally ever do is I'm thinking about just back sweetening it just a little bit with either some maple syrup. All right, I'm gonna put some in the mash, but I'm thinking that I might back sweeten it just just a, just a touch with some maple syrup. I thought maybe that might be pretty good. Okay, so with that being said, all right, give me a little while. We'll get this stuff for cooking and we'll uh, we'll move on to the next step. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it's uh, been an hour. Let's see what our corn looks like. Oh, nice and thick. Now normally what I've been doing is uh, putting high temperature enzyme in here once it gets to 190 or below, but I ran out. So we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is let's put, a, first let's check our temperature, okay? And we are, 
147, so we need to boost the temperature up a little bit. So let me see. All right, let me put a couple of cups of hot water in there. That's hopefully will boost the temperature up. Try to loosen this up. flavor but sometimes it can be a little bit uh, pain to work with okay let's see what our temperature is now oops uh, we are looking okay 160 that's perfect what it's going to do is when we put the grain in that temperature is going to go come down so what we got We're going to put our two, uh, six row barley. Now, six row barley has a lot of, a lot of diacetic power, so it's going to uh, convert them starches of that corn over into sugars. Get all this stirred in. Just have to add a little bit more water to it. Pretty thick. Let me just put this up. Now that grain, once it starts to uh, convert them sugars of the corn or the starches of that corn over into sugars it'll loosen up a lot here shortly it won't take too awful long okay so that's our six rows moved in I mean it's you can see it's pretty thick all right let's I got a little bit of wheat here I think it's two pounds we'll put that in Sweet potatoes over here, they're getting soft. Okay, so let me check my temperature one more time. It might have to put a little more hot water in to boost her up. Because we're looking for, uh, yeah, because I'm only at 138, so it needs to be up somewhere between 145 and, and uh, 150. So let me add two cups of this. That should boost her up. That loosened her up too. That's always a plus. I mean, okay. Now we check her temperature one more time. 153 perfect I'm gonna leave it right there so what that should do is that's going to convert all them great starches from that corn and of course from the grain all into sugars so right now if you touch it it just feels watery wait till we come back and we'll we'll show you it's gonna be a little bit different okay so what we want to do Let's put the top back on it. Oh, 
put the top back on it and we're gonna reset our timer for an hour and a half and let it do its thing, okay? Uh, the temperature, I just turned the temperature off on the sweet potatoes. We're just gonna let them sit there and uh, do their thing. Okay, so we'll be back. All right, our grains are just about done. I'm gonna go ahead and mash these sweet potatoes. Let's see if I can do it without making a big giant mess. I'm just using a potato masher. And then we'll end up putting this into the fermenters. With all the liquid, don't, uh, don't discard the liquid. Uh, make sure you use the liquid too, because there's a lot of good stuff in that liquid. And then we'll get it out after a while. Or after a ferment, we'll get it all out. Okay, so now I'm gonna get these all mashed up. So it sure does smell good. Our grains has been uh, converting for about an hour and a half. If you, I mean, it's nice and runny now. Okay. Uh, I did do a starch test on it. Come back that uh, the conversion has taken place. So now what we're going to do is let me put my mashed sweet potatoes in the fermenter. Okay, let me get all of it. All right, now what I'm gonna do is, I got some, these are uh, like six gallon fermenting buckets. I'm gonna put it all in here pour it back between to divide it up between two buckets because I want a little bit more because I'm gonna have so so much sediment in this I want a little bit more volume so that I'll end up with six gallons after everything is done all right so let's barge all this over into there Okay, so I wanted uh, some maple syrup in there for a little maple taste. Okay. All right, well, let's check our specific gravity, see where we're at. I'm hoping we're gonna be pretty close. We are at 1.085. Uh, that should be pretty darn nice. I think we'll be okay with that, okay? Okay, so what I wanna do, I'm gonna divide these I drew off about about eight gallons because I know I'm gonna have a lot of sediment. But I just want to mix these two because I wanted to make sure that it all will get fermented with the uh, sweet potatoes. Okay. 
Okay, so the only thing I forgot to show you was I did uh, check my pH, and it was just a hair high. So I gave it a couple pinches of citric acid, brought it down right at 5.2. Uh, so I'm very, very happy with that. So the next thing for me to do is um, check the temperature. Uh, once it gets below 90, which will probably be later on this evening, I'll put my yeast in and it's going to ferment to uh, a week to 10 days and to be done and then um, uh, the other thing is our ash is ready to ferment okay i guess there's just one thing left to say hey thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time here on Stillworks and brewing <laughs>